This is a Fox KJTV 34 special sports presentation. Southwest Conference Football is brought to you by DSTV, Jarvis Metals, Computer Express, Midwest TV and Appliances, West Texas number one Chevy dealers, Norwest Bank, and Methodist Hospital. The Texas Tech tradition is Southwest Conference proud. Its membership is a relatively young 35 years. Having seen the likes of All-America, Donnie Anderson roam the South Plains. He and many others helped put West Texas on the intercollegiate athletic map. Today's showdown with TCU will be the 132nd and final Southwest Conference game from Jones Stadium. Next on Raycon. A crisp autumn day on the South Plains for what is probably the final meeting between the TCU Horn Frogs and the Texas Tech Red Raiders from Jones Stadium. Welcome to Lubbock, Dave Barnett along with Grant Tapp. Well, TCU is getting used to this business of playing without their star senior tailback, Andre Davis. They've had to do it three weeks prior to this, and this is their final game of his four-game suspension. They've won without him. They're 2-1 and one during that period, but it's having an effect on Max Naki. Well, getting used to him not being there is certainly one thing, but uh, the loss that he uh, is, when he uh, is on the football field, they make more first downs. When he's on the football field, they score more points. But Max Naki, in the recent weeks, has had more interceptions, and one of the reasons, Dave, is because he's having to force the ball. He feels like probably that he's got to take up the slack for the loss of Davis. Texas Tech, before last week's devastation in Austin, 48-7 by Texas, had lost twice, one point at Penn State, two points at Baylor. So this is a new experience for them, coming back from a blowout loss, and to do so, they're counting on their senior your leadership today. Anytime you have that kind of loss, you have got to have excellent leaderships. Coaches can do so much, but the seniors have to take control. Fortunately, they have Zach Thomas, who's been a great leader, but there are two other guys that are as good a leaders as they are on any team anywhere, and good football players. Marcus Coleman, who's an outstanding defensive player, and Sean Banks, one of the better linebackers in the league, but probably not given as much recognition. Tech about a 10-point favor today. They both need to win to keep their bowl hopes alive. They are legitimate hopes. If Tech wins out and they'll be favored to do so, they'll finish 8-3, and three, and that would be a two-game improvement on last year's team, which went to the Cotton Bowl. 